Hey, it's Dora with Tactical Hive. In today's video, we're gonna be co-witnessing a new optic. We're gonna switch out this old aim point for a brand new Romeo 4, still in the wrapper, and we're gonna see just how well it works. All right, guys, we're back. And before we get started, just to cover our bases, let's go ahead and just cover what co-witness actually is, which is basically lining up your point of aim, point of impact on multiple sighting systems on the same weapon. So I've got my iron sights here, they're both fixed, and I have a old M2 cop, and they are co-witnessed. So I can point of aim, point of impact with my iron sights, and then I can easily switch to my red dot at the same distance, I'll have the same point of aim, point of impact, and I can go back and forth. So that being said, I should be able to take this red dot off, put a brand new, take this one out of the wrapper. This is a Romeo 4 by Sig Sauer. Put a battery in it, stick it on here, line up the red dot onto the front tippy center of my front sight post as I'm looking through my rear sight. And that should give me a true co-witness, which will give me the same point of aim, point of impact at the same distance. So both the irons and red dot are currently sighted in at 36 yards. So we'll go ahead, pop this off, and re we'll co-witness this one in at exactly 36 yards to keep it the same. All right, so before we mount the new optic, we're gonna go ahead and just get a quick confirm on the irons. Yeah, it's a little breezy out here, but we always should be okay. So go ahead, get locked in behind the gun. All right, let's go ahead and just check and see how we did. All right, so we got two in the 10 ring at 36. One flyer a little high, but that's good enough. So let's go ahead, pop on the new one and see how it does. All right, guys, so we're back. We went ahead and confirmed our iron, so we can go ahead and get started on our new optic. Today, we're gonna be using a Sig Sauer Romeo 4H, or Romeo 4H, this thing's brand new in the plastic. I bought it a few years ago. I just, and I meant on putting it on a different, gun but uh i've got those uh, romeo fives and they just work so i never really got around to try to changing them out till now so glad i did get a video out of it so we'll go ahead and open this thing up um this like the m2 comp the old m2 is a 2 moa it is adjustable from there but i like to keep my dots as small and precise as possible the m2 cop is a lower one third so it rides a little higher, gives you a little bit better view over the top of your fixed front sight post. I prefer that. Most guys um, who are in the service, you know, like that, but you know, teach their own. This one, however, is an absolute co-witness. So it is going to ride a little bit lower. We'll see if that makes a difference. I don't think it will. Pop it open. All right. And it already comes with a battery. Detachable lens cover is important to have. Very sticky. <laughs> All right, we got a battery in this thing. It turns on, it's a good sign it's gonna work. When I mount my red dots, I like to put them as far forward on the receiver as I can, though I do not want them over the top of the chamber. The chamber where the round sits as it's fired is the hottest part of the gun. So I never wanna put anything on there. Also, this isn't a free float barrel. Um, this is kind of a retro legacy build. So just like so on a standard M4, upper receiver that's where i put it but you know teach their own Sig so gave us this handy daddy side in tool so we're going to go ahead and use it we're just going to simply co-witness there's no reason i can just stick the gun up just like point the barrel down just like so get right down on it and look and see where that red dot is in in regards to my front sight hell i'll even take my sunglasses off it is windage is good dot just needs to come down skosh so got these handy dandy windage knobs here we're gonna go ahead and take the covers off so up a bit to the right we, we want to go down Oops, a little bit more oh that's close all right, let's give this a shot. So with minimal adjustment, the windage on this thing was actually already set. 
I just had to bring the dot down to get it right on the tippy top of that front sight post. So as you're looking through your rear sight, you're lining it up with your front, getting that perfect side alignment on your irons. That red dot should be right at the tippy center front top. That makes sense of your front sight post as you're looking through your rear sight. Everything should come together for the exact same point of aim, point of impact, co-witness. Seeing as we're just casually sitting here putting this thing together, we could be anywhere. You know, we could literally be anywhere. And as long as my iron sights are good to go, as long as they are sighted in and where they need to be, I can swap these optics off back and forth, back and forth, as many, many times as I want, assuming this works. So let's go put it to the test. We're lined up behind the same target, same spot. We went ahead and confirmed the irons. They're good to go. Um, we took this brand new optic right out of the box, mounted it, co-witnessed it, and uh, let's see how it goes. All right, let's go down and see how we did. All right guys, so a quick rehash. Uh, these three were my iron sight shots. Um, these two were good. This one, you know, I, I threw it a little bit. I felt it, so I know what happened. These three down here at the bottom in this tight group, that's the dot. So going off of just my iron sights without, you know, being able to really aim at anything or shoot anything, but just sitting up there at the table and co-witnessing that red dot right over the top center of that front sight post as I've achieved side alignment through my rear sight. This is how close it got me at 36. One, maybe out to 200, I think I'd be good on a uh, silhouette size target. Not ideal, not perfect, but a great starting point. It is just a great, fast, expedient way to get a red dot on target good enough until you can, in fact, get to a range and confirm. So obviously we asked ourselves, co-witness, does it work? In my opinion, yes, it does work, but only to a certain extent. You're definitely still gonna wanna get to a range. You're still gonna wanna fine tune with live fire shots. But if you don't have an opportunity to do that, if you're at home or whatever, and you just need to get this thing close, co-witnessing definitely does work. This works for me. Hopefully it works for you if need be. If you like the content, go ahead and give us a like. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time. This is Dora. Thanks a lot.